Blade agents Sam Snow and Kit Casey have no time to lose. Because today is no ordinary day. Today is Clay, Clay Cake, Cake Day! Oh, I love clay cakes. So delicious. So tasty. So, huh? Mm. Missing? Ah, looks like somebody already ate them all. But lunch just started. You know, Sam, you took an awful long time in the training room before lunch. You sure you didn't swing by the cafeteria for a quick snack? Me? You had to run back to the library to get that book you conveniently forgot. You think I snuck away to eat all the clay cakes? Well, let's look at the evidence. An empty tray, some crumbs, a clay crest. A clay crest? <gasps> Director Scratch must have a case for us. Let's go! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your lunch, but there's a puzzling new mystery in the North American forest. The mice squad just sent us these photos. A pika was picking posies to put in her paystack. <coughs> haystack. A bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> in any case, when she came back, her haystack had been robbed. Her haystack? Mm-hmm. Pikas gather flowers and dry them out in little haystacks, which they eat during the winter. If a pika's haystack isn't big enough, they might run out of food. So, pikas prepare by putting plants in a pile, but part of this poor pika's pile was pinched. Precisely. And it's up to you two to figure out who took her flowers. No problem. You can count on us. <laughs> Arriving at Destination Biome, North American Forest. Thanks, Ron. Now we just have to find those peekers. I think we just did. Makes a lot of noise for such a small creature. Peekers make all kinds of funny noises, even barks. Yeah, isn't it cool? Bill, Jill, you guys are still here. Yep, we're recording the peeker sounds to use in our latest track. Check it out. Wally Bangla in the Bat Cave Crisis! Make way for Wally! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wally Bangla to headquarters! I've arrived on the scene! I repeat, I've arrived on the scene! What do I do now? First things first, head into the cave and talk to the bats. Right, into the cave! The dark, scary cave. <laughs> Everything all right, Wally? Ah, of course, everything's fine. Couldn't be better, in fact. <laughs> I'm just a teeny bit afraid of the, the dark. It's true. She still sleeps with a nightlight. Poor dear. Mum, <laughs> not in front of the clade agents. You can do this, Wally. Those bats really need your help. You're right. And it's my duty to help them. Even if they do live in a dark, scary cave, make way for <laughs> It's not so bad in here, is it? <laughs> Good day, citizens. Wally Bungler, Nature Ranger, at your service. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you, baddies. Sounds like you've got the sniffles. Oh, we just woke up and started sneezing like crazy. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Achoo! A real medical mystery, if ever I've heard one. But what started all the sneezing? Wally! You better search the cave for clues. Righto! Searching for clues. Let's see. Clues. Clues. Aha! What did you find, Wally? I found a rock! And some moss. And another rock. Now you've got to look for clues, Wally. Anything out of place or unusual. Or hard to explain. There's a rock that looks like a duck. Does that count? I can't stand this sneezing. Hang on. You've got some funny white gunk on your nose. I do? Mm. You have white gunk too. 
you have all got it. But we don't normally have white gunk on our noses. What is it? A clue is what it is. White gunk. I was afraid of this. These bats have white nose syndrome. That white stuff is a fungus that grows on their noses while they're sleeping and makes them sick. Well, that solves that. Oh, I'm pretty good at this mystery business. <laughs> Check it out, kids. Footprints. Hmm. Hard to make out after all this rain. But those are young giraffe prints, all right. Good work, Cluebots. Gordy must have gone this way. Come on. Looks like Gordy came to the watering hole. <laughs> Lucky for us, it's full of potential witnesses. Excuse me, folks. Have any of you seen a young... There are predators around. <laughs> we can't let him know there's a young giraffe loose. A young giraffe, you said? Uh, what I meant was... <gasps> Reggie! Yeah. It's good to see you. Can I interest my favorite detectives in some nice, cool pond water? Thanks, but not now, Reggie. We're on a case. Looking for this guy. Oh, yeah. I seen him. Headed off towards the river. Getting kinda late for a little fella, ain't it? We better find that river. Fast. Thanks for the tip, Brad. Anytime, you two. Huh, <sighs> that's strange. I don't see any rivers on the map. But listen, do you hear that? Mm, 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 mm. Sorry. Sounds like running water. This way. Well, ain't that something? A river that wasn't on the map. And look, more giraffe prints. Gordy must have gone into the river. I don't think so, Sam. Giraffes aren't known to be swimmers. And this river is too deep for Gordy to wade through. There's something fishy going on. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Better talk to that turtle. Maybe he saw something. Excuse me, sir. Huh? We're from Clade. Have you seen this giraffe? Hmm. Was he a young fella out wandering all by himself? Yes. Nope, haven't seen him. <sighs> but then again, the river and I just got here. The river just got here? Yep. This river only fills up with water after big rainstorms like the one today. Kids, it all makes sense. It does? Gordy must have crossed the river before there was a river. He just walked across the grass. Good thinking, Sam. Let's get across and stay on Gordy's tail. Watch your step now. This river can be a little unpredictable. <laughs> fishy, fishy, fishy. Kids. Oops, was I humming again? Arriving at destination biome, North American Desert. Good evening, folks. I'm Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. We understand there's a problem involving a night howler? Oh, that's right. I never thought it was real until tonight. Did you get a good look at it? No. I only saw the shadow of a, a creature. Yeah, and then we started itching. It made a howling noise like... Sounds like the My Squad's recording. A night howler was definitely here. But what was it? And why did it make everyone so itchy? Bingo! What is it? It's a flea! That's what's making everybody itch. This night howler is probably spreading them around just by coming near. Good thing I've always got some flea powder with me. Mmm, smells like grapefruit. Oh. Oh. oh, that feels much better. But that thing is still out there, spreading fleas all around. What if it comes back? Don't worry, we'll find it before it does. But we better hurry. 
I don't have much flea powder left. Hmm. Uh, just one more question. Are there any known howlers in the area? Some wolves live over in the hills, but they don't come this way often. It's as good a lead as any. Come on. That's a wolf, all right. Hmm. Sounds different than the recording of the night howler. Still, a wolf may have had something to do with... Hey! <gasps> Watch it! Don't you know not to startle a scorpion? Startle you? You startled me! What are you doing out here anyway? Official clade business. We're looking for the night howler. Hmm, and let me guess. You think it's me? Easy now. The night howler is carrying fleas, and scorpions never get fleas. And you definitely don't howl. You do your homework. Impressive. The name's Bob. Well, Bob, until we find this thing, you'd better head somewhere safe. Me? Safe? Oh, we scorpions are always out at night. And the desert can be pretty dangerous after dark. If anything, I should come along with you for protection. No thanks. I think we... If the howler attacks, I'll sting him with my venomous tail. Sam, she does seem to know the area. We could use her help. Barb, we're looking for any wolves who might live in the hills. Those guys? This way, people! Kit, are you sure we should... Come on, Sam. Drop the act, borrowing owl. We know you're in there. Agents of Clade, sir. Can you open the door, please? Go away and leave me alone! I'm afraid we can't do that. We need you to show your face so your neighbors can see they have nothing to worry about. Mind your own business! How do we get him out of there? Could be time for a little good agent, bad agent. Guess he's not coming out. Better clean up all this dung. Oh no! Don't do it, Sam! Do you know how long it took him to collect all that dung? Hey, you leave my dung collection alone, you hear me? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but my partner here feels like doing a little spring cleaning. And when he wants to clean, there is no stopping him. I'll make this floor spotless. <laughs> no, not my dung! Gotcha! So this is the fella who was causing all the trouble? There's nothing to be afraid of, folks. Your new neighbor's not a ghost or a rattlesnake. Just a harmless burrowing owl. And he does not have laser eyes. I just wanted to be left alone. And I would have got away with it if it weren't for these meddling agents and their shovel. Mr. Owl, if you had just asked me, I would have dug you your own section of the burrow. Far enough away for privacy, but close enough for company when you want it. Company? That actually sounds pretty nice. <laughs> Could you do that for me, please? Of course. Just try your best to be a good neighbor. And, uh, keep any dung out of the hallway. I will. I promise. If Sam and I can live together, I'm sure you can live with these nice folks. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Thanks, mister. Maybe you can play with us sometime. <laughs> Another creature case closed. Hmm. We can listen to your music on the way home, Kit. Thanks, Sam. But we can listen to yours. I insist. No, I insist. I insist. I insist. I insist. I insist. I insist. <laughs> little guys come from? And how do we get them home? Hmm. They must have climbed on board Ron during one of our last cases. We've recently solved cases in four different biomes. The grasslands, the forest, the tundra, and the desert. So they must come from one of those places. Let's review the clues. Here's what we know. One, these are baby caterpillars. Two, they really like salad, so they eat plants. Three, we found them in Ron's air conditioner right after our last case, which was in the forest. Remember the case with all those blue jays? <laughs> and all those feathers. Hmm. There's a lot of plants to eat in the forest. And lots of species of caterpillars live there too. So that must be where they're from. Are you from the forest, you little cuties? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. Enough fooling around. Let's get these caterpillars home. Ah! 
now arriving at Destination Bio. North American Forest. Thanks, Ron. What about over there? There you go, little guy. We'll leave you here with a leafy snack. Another creature case. Clo <laughs> What's wrong, little guys? They don't seem as happy as I thought they'd be. Hey, what's all the buckets up here? Oh, never seen that kind of caterpillar in the forest before. You haven't. Uh oh. -uh. Sam, what if we got this all wrong? Maybe these caterpillars aren't from the forest. Well, one thing's for sure. They won't be caterpillars for long. What? Where'd they go? The caterpillars are pupating! They're what? Pupating. That's when they make silky cocoons around themselves so they can change into butterflies. Or in this case, I say some kind of moth. And we better get them home before they do, or they're going to be really confused. But where is their home? <sighs> we don't know. We're all out of clues. But maybe we can look at the clues we do have in a different way. Here's what we know. One, these are or were baby caterpillars. Two, they like eating leaves. Three, we found them in the air conditioner in blocks of ice. Four, we found them again eating salad in the cooler. In the cooler? Well, they must not mind the cold. They don't mind it. They seem to love it. Whiskers, that's it. They must live in a biome that's cold. We know it's not the forest. And the desert and grasslands are way too hot. So that just leaves the tundra. Oh, yeah. I hear it's super cold there. That must be where they're from. Come on, Sam. We got to get to the tundra before these cocoons hatch. <sighs> You're welcome. Bill, Jill, you keep the keys distracted. Kit and I will take care of the rest. Got it. Time to get those parts back. Blue bots, go! We got him, my squad. Thanks for your help. See ya. Oh, man! Don't leave! Hey, where are they going? They're taking all that stuff. Hey, you ruined the fun. You know... I almost feel bad taking our parts back from them. Bad enough to spend the night out here in the snow? Nope. Let's go fix our snow cycles. Okay, we've got all the parts back. Now, where to start? First, we connect this part with this other one, I think. Or maybe this part goes under there. Hmm. Or maybe... We have no idea how to do this, do we? Not a clue. <sighs> And it's officially getting too cold, even for me. Ah, if only we had someone who was good at this type of thing. <gasps> like the Kias! Someone really clever. Like the Kias! Who's good at putting things together. Like the Kias! Whiskers, that's it! The Kias! Wait, is that what you just said? Yep. But if we ask them to help us, they'll just start playing with the parts again. So maybe we need to trick the tricksters. <laughs> I think I lost those clay clods. <laughs> now, let's see what we got here. Mmm, perfectly right. Stop <gasps> right there, Roxy Raider. You again. <laughs> Going somewhere, Roxy? Well, if it isn't Peggy Scratch, you finally found me. Took you long enough. But I caught you nonetheless. Agents, let's get this food back to the other animals. Uh, Director Scratch? It's all gone. Oh, my food! Your food? That food belonged to those other animals. And you're going to help us collect more. Help you? Ha! Why should I do that? Because if you don't, these poor innocent baby birds will go hungry this winter. Won't you help us, please? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Well, now's your chance to make things right. What do you say? I say... Let's get to work! Ugh. Come and get it. Here you go. Mm. I can't thank you enough. More grubs, please. Ugh. Thank you, thank you. You don't know how much this means to us. Now every animal has enough food for winter. <laughs> this is for you. Thanks. Stay warm. Yeah, it felt good helping those folks. <gasps> Snow. From now on, no more stealing food for me. Then I declare this creature case closed. After all these years, this case is finally, finally closed. <sighs> Goodbye, Roxy. <laughs> See you, Scratch. Nice work today, agents. Keep it up, and you might just beat my case record one day. You really think so? I do. And in the meantime, I'm going to make a note of your excellent work in your file. Hang on, where's my pen? <gasps> Roxy Radar! <laughs> I'm Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. Sorry guys, it's up to you now. Stay cool out there, Agent. You can count on us, Director. <laughs> <laughs>